continued or worse pain after back surgery is called failed back syndrome. Now that you've had back surgery and still have pain, are you wondering if surgery was the best option? Are you considering a second surgery? The reality for many is that you're still hurting and you thought you would be feeling better after surgery. Multiple studies have shown that continued or worse pain after back surgery occurs in approximately 40% of people and the pain can appear directly after surgery or return slowly over time. Either way, life is miserable with chronic back pain and or leg pain. It hinders you from performing your usual daily activities and ultimately limits the pleasure you experience in life. Many patients continue to see their doctors and are often told that nothing went wrong with the surgery. This is true for the vast majority. Surgeons in the United States are very qualified and in general do a very good job. That doesn't mean that your pain is not real. The reality is that scar tissue forms and adjacent degenerative disc disease can occur after surgeries. These can cause pain and can be common causes of failed back syndrome. So the question is, what do you do now? You've had surgery, you're hurting, and you may be taking pain pills, but they're not really working and your quality of life is not what you want it to be. Your doctor may have discussed a second or third surgery. However, the success rates of these are very low. The good news is there is help for you. You're much better off leaving the surgeon's office and coming to Atlanta spine specialists to a physician who will try to specifically identify the source of the pain and provide minimally invasive options. This involves meeting with a doctor who will listen to your pain complaints and problems and a new or recent MRI. There are minimally invasive options to treat your pain and you can be confident because these treatments have a very high success rate. One of the most successful procedures to treat continued pain after back surgery is spinal cord stimulation. The nice thing about spinal cord stimulation is that you get to take it for a one week test drive to see if it works for you. This involves two small needle sticks where wires are placed in the epidural space and temporarily taped to your back. The patient gets to experience life for a week to see if spinal cord stimulation helps alleviate their pain. There's absolutely no commitment. Don't you wish you could have done that before your previous back surgery? Failed back syndrome is a debilitating and painful problem that affects so many physically and mentally. Please make sure you are educated on all your options for treatment when trying to alleviate back, leg, or knee pain. As an interventional pain physician, I commonly see failed back syndrome in my patients and I am happy to report a high success rate for helping patients and getting them back to a full active life. To see if you or a loved one is a candidate for treatment, please call Atlanta Spine Specialists at 770-844-3242 or visit our website at www.atlantaspinespecialists.com to schedule an appointment.